For decades, the talk that black parents have had with their children about what to do when they encounter law enforcement has been a critical conversation. And after the killing of George Floyd in Minnesota, that talk is evolving every day. Fox 44's Kendall Green joins us live after speaking with black parents in the community about that talk. Hey, Kendall. Hey, Adam. It doesn't matter who you are, a police officer, an elected official, or a city manager. If you're black and you have kids, at some point you go home and you have a conversation about how your child handles an encounter with police. Folks I spoke with today say that conversation in today's climate isn't just a norm, it's necessary. As a black man, he's going to have hurdles. I mean, we know that, but... He's going to overcome. Cedric Davis beams with pride as he talks about his son, Cedric Davis Jr., a student athlete at McMurray University in Abilene. He says he's glad his graduating senior continues to thrive. But to get to this point, Davis has had to have some tough conversations. Man, I think I really started having the first talk with my son when he turned 14, when he became a freshman in high school. And that's when I realized I have to start preparing him for real world of what to do and what not to do when you're stopped by a police officer. That same conversation echoing in homes of black American families all across the country. He know to put his hands on the steering wheel. He know to say, yes, sir, no, ma'am, yes, ma'am, no, the whole nine yards. He know to turn on his dome lights. He know to don't make any southern move movements. And like Davis, Waco City Councilwoman Andrea Bearfield says she had to begin early with that discussion for her two sons as well. You know, it's the thing when you transition from being cute to being a threat. And so I've never been anything but plain, blatantly honest with my children to let them know that the world, I love you, your dad loves you, our family loves you, but the world may not love you simply because of what you look like. Even as a police officer, Colleen PD's Kyle Moore, though he hasn't yet, is planning to have that talk with his three children. I will have a discussion with, uh, with my sons and my daughter uh, when they get of age, like especially right around driving age, uh, at middle school, uh, going into high school. The same discussion his mother had with him as a high school senior in Colleen, he says he still remembers it vividly. If you do happen to get pulled over, make sure, you know, no sudden movements, keep your hands on the wheels. Um, and it sounds so weird to say, but ask for permission to do certain things. But a portion of the discussion more shared and continues to share with the community is that regardless of the circumstance, just make sure you do as asked. You know, you you know, you don't fight those battles right there on the side of the road. I mean, you come home, you know? And if you feel an officer has done something wrong, go through the proper channels and contact supervisors, IA and things of that nature so we can hold officers accountable. Now, for parents who want to have that conversation but haven't just yet, Fox 44 Shaquille Lamar will share just how to get that conversation started. That's coming up at 9.30. In the studio, Kendall Green, Fox 44 News.